Mm -hmm. All right. Jeez, I gotta get this thing. Did you take your tie downs off? Yes, I did. Come on. Uh, fuel tanks on the lower full. Move trucks. Come on. You can't take off the remove before flight? Yes, you can. You just gotta go back one. Yeah, you can. It's gotta be in our area. Why is it showing this thing's empty? No, let's fuel in there. Yeah, I don't care about the water and the fuel. Yes, tag port's good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't forget, put the luggage in there. Why is it shut every time I put something in there? There we go. Oh, boy. Did you put all your luggage in there? No. Put, like, the duffel bag in the suitcase. Yeah, good idea. Definitely put the tool bag in there. Toolbox. It's full. Don't forget to remove your wheel chucks. I still don't know how to tow this thing. Did you figure that one out? It's just on when it's dark. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, I guess I need to start the process of getting this thing started. Go ahead and lock the door. I'm gonna hide the oak. I thought I was gonna hide. Oh, I can't. Get that out of here. Now I'm gonna hide the oak. Alright, battery on. Beacon light on. Films in right now. Mixture rich. Is fuel select already on, or is it? I don't think it is. Okay, you're right. He's turned both on. I think a fuel selector sounds like I'm listening to my cat. Alright, so where's the master? Oh, well, it's autopilot master. I just got the avionics master. Traffic travel good. Traffic left downwind. One more full stop.
Come on. Alright, clear prep. Maybe not. Come on! Oh. I'm an idiot. Parking brake set? Yes, it is. Good. Alright, I got a good start. Yeah, kind of nice. I feel like this plane always sits too high. I like to lower my person a little bit. All right. Oh, I was supposed to turn fuel pump on. Whoops. Missed that one. I don't, put, I don't necessarily need my strobes, but I'm going to put them on. Maybe I'll make master on. All right, so we got a taxi down to uh, one eight with the wind. Look at that wind sock over there; it's nuts. So, whoops! Check barometric pressure, by the way. All right, keep that door open because it's really hot. Cabin ventilation. I'm turning that on now. I do like the way this thing taxis, and it is pretty, um, pretty quick. Can they did a good job of the scenery at this airport? It looks very similar to what I'm used to seeing. Grounds all cracked. It's the first time I've seen an airport like that. I like it. Yeah. It doesn't look great, but it's better than just flat gray. This one. Yes. Which GPS do you have in your in your run uh, plane? Uh, through screen. If I remember uh, I've got the single screen. stuttery. Let's start clearing across the runway. You see that? Oh, I see. Uh, right below the speed. I got it. I think it's it just. There. So one thing I've noticed of the maneuvering speeds uh, is if you have the tank. <clears throat> there is a gravel pit over here. But there's not a well. Could you hear that? No. Okay. Uh, so if you change and turn your tip, or your tip tanks off, oh, okay. it'll change. Yeah. Changes. Yeah. Your if you get far away, your landing gear disappears on me. So 
So I'm not sure altitude hold um, on the autopilot, but I know it's there, you know. Oil. Why am I getting an. Oh, there we go. You know they extended this runway? Mm -hmm. Well, they've got that river ridge. Uh, there's so many big companies that come in there, so they needed bigger planes. So, turn into the wind. Let me get behind, get over here. Give this kind of flight model to the RVs, it would be really nice. Twenty one on the RPMs. Traffic Bravo Sheridan to Jenning, lift to base one one. Got a really rough right. Got a Got a really rough left mag. Don't forget to cycle the prop. Alright, shut my window. So I'm going to put some trim in. Uh, we don't need flaps on the takeoff here. Do one at a time. Uh, uh, we can try it. You know, we, we can try it. Pull take. Goes around a little bit, but it's not terrible. Yeah. Just go left side of the runway. I'll go to your right. Stop and see the Oscar Victor, uh, currently at, uh, four nautical miles west of the field. I'll be crossing overhead and join the, uh, downwind for, uh, runway 1-4. Good to know, buddy. Alright, so... I don't know what, uh, anything else I need to have on. Landing light needs to come on. Turn bills on one, I guess. Fuel pumps on. Uh, mixture's rich. Car heat's out or in, so we don't want it. We don't want it in. All right, I'm good when you are. Just gonna kind of slowly advance the throttle. I put trim in and it just took off on its own. That was quite quite nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this thing's running rough and I don't like it. I don't know what's wrong. What do you have your turbulence set at? Because you could do it through the plane. Mine's set pretty high. I'm pretty sure it's high. Yeah. I said that first time I flew, so it's probably high. Yeah, I'm bouncing around all over the place. Going 
and eight. Uh, I'd go up to ten, actually. Because we're going up over... Well, no, we're not directly going over Indy now. Did you see your autopilot master button? Turn that on. And then your regular autopilot master button that you would normally use on your controls, that sets it. Got a lot smoother. Don't forget to adjust your mixture as needed. I don't know. I, I'm not even on my track. I mean, you're not far off. You're just heading up Highway 10. Like, there's the uh, Charlestown Speedway where they race go karts. A little fair fairgrounds area right below you. Some clouds up ahead there. See them? Could make some things interesting. Yeah, I wish all the planes had this type of flight model because it's easier. It it's much easier for me to stay with you with it. You know, it's got some weight to it. It's not real twitchy. I like how you can adjust how sensitive the trim is too. Okay. Yes. Traffic, Echo Victor's here, straight left, downwind, 1-4, got the traffic in sight. Now it's on track, sort of. Or not, but the GPS is. Oh, gotcha. Why are we going back to Louisville? <laughs> Let me know when it's about to make a right turn, because... So you can change that GPS... ...to set up what you want. Oh, look, there's Clark County. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do too good there. <laughs> it's heading back to the airport. Just see if it, when we get to it, let's see what happens. Is it turning now or is that you? That's me. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, there we go. Let's see that. I'll turn back right more. Gotcha. I'm 
still on the right side. I still hate how they get that box. Plane seems to my plane seems to be running a little bit better, so I think I had a bag that I needed to burn off and I didn't do it. It definitely acted like it. But it'll burn off when you run. <laughs> you fly enough. I used to, there was always one plane over at Clark County <clears throat> that you always had to burn the right mag off. All the time. No matter what. I did my cross country in it, and every time I stopped, I had to freaking burn the mag off. Just running high RPMs and uh, rich mixture. Checked your barometric pressure. Understand this autopilot is just keeping me straight, but huh? Yeah, I don't either. It's like the little dots, you know. Yeah, but it didn't keep the track the way it was supposed to. It just passed it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just following you. I haven't had a chance to mess with it. I wonder if this place, uh, I wonder if this plane has the wake of like if I'm in your uh, wash. Uh, I kind of want to find out. Let's find out. any difference. How did you take off so much from me? Thing other than just following you right now. <laughs> Trying to get it trimmed out a little bit. Alright, 8,500. This thing climbs well. Yep. We might have to dodge clouds, we'll see. You're supposed to be VFR. Still not on track yet. Want me to lead, see if I can figure it out? What happened to you? I'm alright. Where'd you go? Yeah, I see ya. Slow it up. Turn my fuel pump off and my landing lights because I left them both on. You're off to my right now.
up, bump to the kilo 2000 feet, 7 miles to the west, on the south edge of the town of Carlisle, and down to the field. Still climbing. Okay. Have you ever opened your little side window this high up? Yeah. It's loud. Temperature outside, pretty warm right now. We're still climbing. All right. I don't know why this says fill in. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Fill 60. Fill 90. I don't know what that's supposed to do. You have any idea? Well, I guess that's. No, not at all. I just hit the white button and get rid of it. Ah. Ah, okay. Where are you at right now? For gallons per hour? Uh, 11.4 right now. How do you get that? All right, so we're getting pushed off just a little bit by the wind, so I'm going to correct. Woo. Jeez. Yeah, I know. I know. Sorry. It just does that. And we're at 10,000. We're almost at 10,500, so we we'll leveled out here soon. Ah, okay. I see. All right, gonna be correcting here in just a second. I guess I need to start turning the other master button off. Oop, we're just above our sound altitude. So I'm gonna level off here. mess with this. Are you still uh, behind me? I don't see ya. Yeah. Oh. You still messing with it or you just... I'm at 13 gallons per hour right now. I don't know if... I don't know what's a good RPM to be at. Twenty-three, right? I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going to look up a lot of this. Okay. Alright. Still climbing a little bit, but that's okay. So what's really strange, if you go to your GPS and look, it'll show two different lines. I get a little confused by that. I think it's count, one is showing the track you need to be at, um, including the wind, you know? Because I think it's really windy right now. Uh, our ground speed. Yeah, we have a bit of a headwind. Yeah, just a little bit. Not much. Yeah. Nice and trim now. I think. Keep kind of going up and down because I don't know how to get it to set on the um, altimeter or altitude, you know? VNAV. GPS. frequencies are not even on. That's nice. Whoops. Turn your transponder on because I didn't. <laughs> Where'd you go? Not sure. I don't see you at all. Did you disappear? Uh huh? Oh, that's why. You see close. To oh, you're going a different direction. Okay. I'm at 11,000, I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to be, but that's the case. I'm still trying to figure out how to set my altimeter. Well, I mean, you know what, I need to change frequencies. It might. We'll monitor Andy Center. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that gets autopilot master switch. And I have no idea if it follows anything. Whoa. 
Phillips. Cool, we can actually close the ventilation. Cylinder temperature is good. Autopilot turn knob. I'm afraid to press it. Inner mark. I don't know what I'm looking at. Whatever. Uh, we're doing good on time now. Once we got up here and got moving. Kind of doing good on time. Never mind. Yeah, when you go to set your oh there's fuel selector. Don't forget that when uh you go to put your landing gear down that you click it twice. Yeah. Figure that out the hard way. It's like why is this thing yelling at me? I'm close to the ground. <laughs> about everything's clickable in here, isn't it? Yeah. What's the code of the airport we're going to? Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, somebody's moving really, really fast right now over us. Huh. Uh, zero five, Charlie. like it's a private field or something.
have GPS to the airport. I still have VNAV set up. I don't know how to do that on this unit. Yes. No. Ground speed is a 140, which is what airspeed is right here. They're indicated, so yeah, we still got a headwind. Because you're on a different path. I'm on the one that's uh, follow, following the uh, VORs. Yeah, you probably turned. Mine's still the same heading that we were going. But... Yeah, I don't get how it works. How'd you get so far ahead of me now? So you figured out your altitude and all that? Yeah, I did figure that out. I've got the heading wrong. You got the what? Heading wrong? The heading's turned on. So I'm 
I'm sitting at like 10 5, just flying one heading. Which stack or which radio stack do you have? Uh, right now I have uh, two screens back. But if you switch on it, cancel that flight plan. Yeah. Uh, put the flight plan back in to the airport. Gotcha. I just don't know how to do it to me now if I can. I would think you can. Kind of have to be able to somehow. It's alright. something other than track IR. Uh-oh. What happened? I stuttered. I'm frozen! Help. Something's loading in. It's taking forever. I'm still frozen. Are you there? Yeah. I'm frozen. And I don't think I'm going to unfreeze. Holy crap. It will, there it goes. Just now unfroze. Holy moly, I'm going to have to really adjust up. That puts you... where? <laughs> uh, Probably way in front of me now. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't show anybody. There you are. Oh yeah, you're way ahead of me now. And my GPS isn't on anymore. What the heck? So mine's also gone. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go s just go direct to then. Is that what you did? Yeah. What did I say it was? Is it still set here? Uh, Enter. Activate.
the right a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? Uh, the house, dude. I circled around to catch up to you. Yeah, I'm confused. I, I set it to go to there. And it Do what? It's taking 58 minutes left for me. Hmm. Could be right. I had this thing trimmed up until I started turning. Yeah, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going happening. I'm not quite sure. It's getting a little bumpy. The plane diagram on the GPS is facing the wrong direction. Popped up telling me to turn right or to a certain heading, which would be right. Is that what it is? Is that what's happening? The plane diagram facing one's the wrong good, direction. The other one's not. But I just had a message pop up saying turn 343, which is not right. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, but then you click on your map. Shows a different track. I've only got one track of fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to be going through these clouds. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Where'd you go? Oh, yours off to my left. Catch up with you in a minute, but do you have your yoke showing or not? I do not. Does that matter? Get rid of the yoke. They're like right underneath where it come out. There's two buttons there. Disconnecting the altitude hold. Oh. As long as you're stable altitude and you hit that little blue light will pop up on your uh, autopilot thing. And that'll hold your altitude. And it'll beep at you on which direction you need to trim to hold that altitude. Unless you're good. Interesting. I'm right now. Just a little. A little high, I want to change mine. I'm just over 10 miles. Yeah, I'm going to drop down. Just trying to figure out the head. Wow. Technically, like the two, the last two yellow lights, those should be your track. I went down too fast. Okay.
Parou. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, turn the uh, avionics switch off. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Okay, so... It is a little bumpy. Altitude back, I'll drop way too much. Just make me mad. Gotten so uncoordinated I'm trying to figure this out. Which was off. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Back on track, maybe. Close enough, anyways. Cloud's a little rough there for a second. Scenery's cool. Alright, 
I'll be right back. What stuttering? Just bounced. Let me do something real quick. Alright, give me a second.
kind of sitting up there like that. Let's turn this back on. Do what? I finally locked onto the truck. Locked onto the what? The track? Oh, okay, I got you. Is that what you pressed, GPS? Oh, uh, I pressed that above the screen. Oh. Okay, so we press nav. Nav one? Yep. And then what? And then make sure the uh, where the autopilot is. Make sure the low or the high is set up. One of those two. Probably the high. Where, where's the autopilot? I don't think I've got autopilot. Uh, right above the where the lights are. The yellow lights. Yeah. What about it? Uh, the knob that's like in the top left corner of that. Click that till it goes to one of those. Talk about the air marker. There's inner marker, outer marker, middle marker. That? What? I've got a different setup than you, I think. I don't know. I'll look at it later. Oh, right. right above the yoke. It has, like, the, uh, yaw gauge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Where so, the lights, or the so the, is, do you know how to do? Do you know how to change that? Oh, each one's different. Yep. yep. Oh, I'm an idiot. SD is probably like a standard, and you can yeah, like eight. hold your heading, okay. and you can Report adjust the knob, make it turn. Okay, so the heading is your heading, and then low and high are tracks of some type. Yeah. So which one do you do? Heading? Uh, no, I did high track. But make sure you're pretty much lined up with the track where it kind of zigzag. I gotcha. Second. Alright, well that makes sense. I was... Okay. That's simple. And then I guess in heading is the triangle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that could probably be useful. All right, I didn't, I couldn't read that from back here. That there's, there was little things. I just, <laughs> I see the blue lights. I mean, ready, uh, the uh, trim up, trim down. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, those will flash based on your altitude hold. If you need to trim up or down for yep. the plane, it won't force itself. Okay. So, like, I'm sorry, I was looking directly above the GPS, not the yoke. Like, I don't know what that those oh, knobs okay. are above the GPS. Oh, uh, yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Other well, lights of some type. Kind of zigzagging here. But that's okay. I'm just under 10,500. Oh, that's okay. Well, that was uh, just a fluke. Uh, just kind of clouds we went through. Just, no. Oh, there's some more up there. It looks like by Chicago. Have we hit all the windmills yet? There's a bunch up here somewhere, I'm sure. again. I guess if you're doing a like full 
pilot's approach to light up any of them. Oh, okay. Nice. I still don't see you. I uh, am. Yeah. Looks like pretty far behind. How? <laughs> I don't know. All right. How far does? How long does it says you get there? Uh, that was 87 miles, so 34 minutes. Alright, so I'll back down. Throttle this a little bit. Uh, yeah, 34 miles. 34 minutes, 88 miles. Yeah. You're not that far behind me, really. That's pretty close. But I'll back. Which do we start descending? Uh. E. Probably soon. Uh, say it. Eh. Say 50 miles. What's your uh, RPM and everything? RPM is at right now 18.7. Or no, no, 23.3. Uh, map is 18.7. Um, yeah, and that's what I've got right now. I wonder if I should press my landing gear button down, or button now so it goes into off. <laughs> I know what's up. Yeah, I don't. Got the history behind that. It's weird. I didn't know any plane where they were like that. Well, I know the beaches. Okay, so I just pressed it and it went back to center. So, yeah, that way when I go to press it one more time, it'll go down. What is your speed right now? What's your ground speed say? 156. Okay, so you're definitely catching me, but I'll slow it down just a tad. Tad more. Uh, let's see, press B for bear mad. Uh, yeah, bear magic pressure changed. Temperature 51 up here. Does, does, it, does it say to have the uh, does it say to have the fuel pump on?
Tip tanks haven't been touched yet. You what? My tip tanks haven't been touched yet. I started with them, and then once we got up to altitude, I switched back to the main, and I switched back to it a second ago. Actually, have the noise canceling on the headphones, or just have them plugged in? I, I have them plugged in. Oh, I see. I don't want it. I like it. Uh, I like it just plugged in. <laughs> I got my shut up my sound settings. You know, good. What's your ground speed now? Well, you're catching me because you're. I see you over there, just off my right. Well, you want to get in on me, you can. That's fine. It's best to get to my right because you can't see when you're, you know, when I'm on your right. Do what? What's your settings at right now? Mm, two, three, three, still on the RPM. Uh, doing 150 ground speed. That's what the map is, technically, manifold pressure, so... Yeah. I don't know what it should be. You know? I don't do. Oh, and climb throttle 24 MP max, prop 24 or 2400 RPM max. Uh, person is 51 degrees. Is that what that means? What? If you open your tablet at my person right there on the flight info, it's cold, I guess, right? So I'm going to turn cabin heat on and see what happens. Yeah, going up. That's cool. Turn the ventilation off, cabin heat on. Yeah, my ventilation's been off for a while. I was slightly on. wonder what's going to happen if you get too cold. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Probably wearing a big coat. Getting a little hazy. Ah, oh, yeah, so this tells you your headwind and everything. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh. Parametric pressure, I guess, needs to be adjusted. No, it's the same. Seven miles visibility. 51 degrees where I'm at. No precipitation. That's kind of cool. Speed on the GPS is far different than what that says. Oh, so up to 24 inches. I'm going to go up with that and see if it does anything. 
I feel like I've been cruising pretty good. What are your RPM? Yeah, man, I feel the pressure. Uh, okay, up to 24 inches. Up to 24 inches of manifold pressure, right? 18 to 24 RPM mixture. Oh. It's a cruise. So I've been fine on the cruise then. Yeah, I've been doing good. I have a mixture way out too. So I don't know if it has anything to do there or not. Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess we need to start descending. So I'm going to disconnect this. Hey, there's all the, um... What else do you know? I don't know. I'm just to try to get it trimmed a little bit. I'm up to 67 now, so I kind of want to shut this thing. What, what, what are we doing here? What's the name of the airport we're going to again? Uh, I'm just going to monitor Unicom. I got it trimmed down at about a thousand feet per minute, so. But we're going a little faster. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. What just happened? That was almost. That was bad. I adjusted the trim while I was descending. I know it's on autopilot, but I don't, I don't know why that happened. Yeah, if you see your controls, you can see like your adjustments of stuff there. You know what I mean? Your uh, it's like tablet volume. There's warning volume, tablet brightness, your trim. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, you can turn the gear switch off. What? You can? Where? Three-way gear switch. It's a uh, advanced options. Oh, I didn't go that far. Yes, I did. Uh, oh yeah, I want that off. I don't like it. <laughs> Original prop lever. What's that? I don't like it. I like that one. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, there's a trim speed. That's what it is. Alright. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm at 7500 right now. Okay. What? Uh... I'm at 9,000. I'm not doing too hot right now. I see you. Just adjust it again. Air magic compressor. I don't think that changed. Um, it goes, uh, <clears throat> it's like 2709, kind of, probably going to be landing runway 27-ish, 28, I don't remember exactly. So if that's the case, I'm going to put my, uh, yeah, I'm going to put my heading bug on that, roundish. Trying to find it on a flight radar at airport, you know. I found the other one. <laughs> Didn't know I should have found that. Could be here. Locked in at five thousand. Uh, okay. I'm still pretty. Do what? Two Okay, that was close. I'm 
most likely landing runway 26. I don't know how to check that. Can't see flight radar who was landing and departing, so that's what we'll do. So according to the tablet, we still have, yeah, room. Wind's still coming out 2-3. Dang. <laughs> it's really windy, actually. That guy's nice and comfortable at 66 degrees. So where do you see the... Never mind, I'll see checklist. Uh, cruise. Yeah, don't say nothing about cruise. Approach. Autopilot. Master. Off. Now. We're keeping it on right now. Fuel pump on. Fuel selectors. Desire tank. Oh, they're fine. Fuel levels are good. Fuel pressure is good. Mixture rich. Prop full forward. Yep. Car paint as required. Probably gonna need it. Uh, airspeed 120. Okay. Let's gump. No. Airspeed needs to be at 90 when landing, huh? That's what it was. Go ahead and turn fuel pump on. Car feeds pulled. Landing lights are going to be on. Strobes are on. My ground speed's 142, which is. Still showing 13 minutes, so I think I'm okay. My descent rate right now. I'm still walking five. Yeah. What's there? I don't know what the airport elevation is. Miles out. Six Left 
We're at Griffith Maryville, right? Okay, I'm gonna get I'll tune them on the radio here. There it is. It's just Traffic a unicom. Kilo, kilo, zero, turning left to base, zero, five, touch and go. I don't necessarily want to enter a left base. Um, we'll see what happens. Might, might enter the 45. I'm going to assume it's left traffic. So that's what we'll run with. You said 634 on the altitude? So we'll need to be, uh, something's pattern is going to be 16. I'd recommend getting down to 3,000. It's gonna fly in off me now. Well, if you want, we could do a break. Uh, won't be much of a break. It'll just be kind of an overhead. Um, we'll just fly upwind. I see you. Yeah, you change schemes. Huh? That's surprising. Yeah, some way, somehow you change schemes. Huh, that's interesting. It's a little harder for you to fly off me that side, but. Flying a little crooked. I'm at 3,000 now, so I'm going to hold this altitude. <clears throat> Kick some power back in. I'm at an hour 41 right now, so it would have been close to three and a half hours. Yeah. That would have been, uh, would have been a long night. So we're probably going to have about the same amount of time to get to Oshkosh. Driving golf, can 
Magic pressure changed. your elevator trim speeds and the advanced options for controls right I think I turned mine down just a tad last time If you're able to get any screenshots, <laughs> did I have a ugly box in the back of my plane too? Yeah, yeah it sucks. Look, you're going indivisible. What? I haven't seen that in a long time. Did you get any screenshots at all? Trying to hide your box with my tail. Trying to get it positioned. It's not for it, but it's only a selection. I oh, know, it's on this one. Crap. Yeah. Alright, right, sorry, I just had to print that. Are we? Huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna descend, I guess. Dang it, I did the same thing again. Turn the freaking autopilot master off instead of the. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> well, I guess the trim's stuck right now. Now I gotta let this crap reboot. Yeah, that's okay. I did it again. <laughs> Alright, the car beat is there. Garmin to come up. I'm going to put my mixture rich. Just the wing tank fuel. 
<laughs> really? They'd be close. Oh, I wow. think so. I think they both hold 15 bees. Might be wrong about that. So where is the airport? I don't see it. I have no idea. It's right below us. Is it? Oh, okay. That's alright. So what we'll do is I'm just trying to get down now. Shut up. Okay, so we're across midfield. That's fine. And I'm going to make a... Whoa! Turn to the right here. It got really bumpy. All right, last parametric pressure check. lights on. Yeah. Okay. Watch that big old tower to our left there. This is about the altitude we need to be. I see you. Yeah, you can turn whatever you want. I can first. I got it. I'm just trying to keep speed at about 120 right now. Not the altitude I want to be at. I know you wanted to go in off of me on the upwind, and then we'll just kind of uh, no shoot. We'll do crosswind, and then. Down when. Okay, we're turning over the airport right now. This is the altitude I want to be at, right? Yes. Seems a little high. I think it's probably right. Where'd you go? I'm behind you. I'm sure you grew up. Oh, you didn't want to be with me? Well, the the wind sock is not uh, really. It's actually favoring a bit of a crosswind. It's actually a very stiff crosswind. This might be fun. <laughs> you see that? I'm not even there yet. Oh man, I'm turning a crosswind right now. Up. All right, first notch of flaps are coming down. Landing lights on. Car repeat is full. Fuel pump is on. And we're going to be pulling the gear down here real soon. Let this get something trimmed a little bit here. I'm a little further out than I like to be. It's bumpy, dude. It's really bumpy. Yep. All right, gears coming down. Beam the numbers. Well, I'm just past beam the numbers, but I'm gonna. It's 
start a left turn here in just a second. I'll give myself plenty of room to play with. One more notch of flaps. Coming left base. I keep getting a really bad glare and it's frustrating. Flaps coming in. Uh, oh, shot it big time. Man, I was uncoordinated. But speed's fine, so. That might have been because I wasn't taking, account, taking into account the wind. Watch the display stress mode. to be butter. Come on, get on the ground. Thank you. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little, a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. How'd you do? That's what I've got to do is backtrack. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yeah, because that doesn't go back. i got to backtrack. So I'm just going to go down here, just taxi away and turn around.
Jeez. Pretty sure you gotta make sure you turn everything off because when you get back in it, everything is set the way. I think I have that off. Oh, really? I don't want that off. I want to be kind of. Okay. Uh, I think it's all though. Uh, I mean, I've got. I need to set the trim to neutral. Oh, wait, I can't even see the trim. Actually, it was already made in the land. It does good. Okay. So, uh. Da, da, da. Okay, we'll shut this. Get my iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill her up later. Is there anything you can click on the prop at all? I don't think so. Yeah. Put it up on Jacks though. Yeah, I don't need to do that right now. Parking brake on. Why? What? Why, why, whatever. Hmm. Ah, once I got to clip a bungee cord. Okay. All right. Well, that was actually pretty fun. I'm tied down. Our next flight in the morning. Okay, we're back in this freaking thing. Open this door. Get some airflow. It's like 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, you're really, really close. Alright, so I'm gonna start my walk around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's good. Fuel tanks. Uh, looks empty. <laughs> of course. We'll fill up in a minute. Don't forget to remove your wheel chocks. Yep. Spinner looks fine. I will check oil just in case. Looks brand new. Socks. One's the real one. Yeah, it's, it's okay. The other one is money. Slightly. Or just change. I don't know. No, they're going the same way. Slightly crossman, but I'll be okay. 
Uh, if you want to, do we want to depart to the um, to the west? Is that what, is that what it's showing? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me do this real quick. Am I moving? Mm -hmm. I, got a, I got a feeling my door is acting like it would be doing if I was starting. I'm just going to push it real quick. Good enough. A little warm in here, but my guy's good. Okay, I think I'm good to start um, getting this thing clear up. Right. Just pick it stuff up. break back out. I'm priming it right now. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready to start too. Clear prop. I thought it was. What am I missing? on? Yeah. Max on. Could give us some throttle. Yeah. It's just the starter's not even pressing. Like, I press the starter, nothing happens. What do we got going on here? Go pumps on. Like, it doesn't even, like, act like it wants to start. Battery's on. Uh, go to your tablet and into maintenance and electrical system. See if anything's showing up. Good point. Is your battery dead from your headset being on? Uh, no, because everything else is running. Seems fine. Starter's not. Why is a starter like... There it goes. Okay, that was weird. Huh. What am, what am I missing? Why is it not starting? This is frustrating. I press the button, and it's not doing anything. Are you started? Yeah, I'm good. Ah, I see you. I don't know. Okay. 
but apparently it, it was wrong. Something was wrong with it. So I had to click it on the maintenance area, so something wasn't right. Could have been a breaker. I bet you that's what it was. Yep, breakers. It was a. Yeah, that's my fault for not checking the breakers. This plane's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we're good on that. Now. Engine. That's what I could have checked the other day was the engine. Alright, so I thought I had the good prop. Do I not have the good prop? I do have a good prop. Okay. No, dang nabbit. He died. <laughs> Alright, try again. I'm ready to taxi when you are. Yeah, I'm good. You can go ahead. Yep. Oh, I gotta check fuel too. Um. I had to click mine on the tablet. It wouldn't let me change. That's what I'm gonna have to do here. So hold on a second there. Likes it being 100% everything. It don't. Here, I'm gonna pull up over here and do that real quick. <sighs> this thing just doesn't like me. How did you get it to... How did you fill it up? I just pressed up. Uh, heavy. Oh, heavy. Okay. That's what we're going with. Got it. I mean... This thing's down on me like three times now. So are we departing to the west or are we departing to the east? I can't see what the windstock says. Two six or eight? Which one? That's hard to read. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it looks to me like we're going to be going to, to eight. Because it's very low wind, so backtracking here. So it doesn't look like anybody. You good to go? Yeah, there's something weird going on with the door, but I figured it out. Yeah, you gotta lock it. Did you lock it? It was, yeah. I just now locked mine. Yeah, this is the right way. Yeah, that BF-109 is such a pain in the butt to taxi. But I'll be honest, I've gotten very, very good with taking off with it. Landing, still a real big struggle. See, that one sucks backwards. I don't get it. Ugh. You know, whatever. We'll be fine taking off this direction. Let's make a turn up to the north.
you want to try a formation takeoff, or you think it's too close? Yeah, uh, too close. Okay. I say I actually did pretty good. Um, taking off at Clark County. All right, so this is very important that we pull out over here. If you want to pull off over here, and I'll just get on the runway and do my run up. just wants to constantly die why it's no it's not good mixture is fine Controls free and clear. I guess my let's work fine. Alright. It's definitely running very, very rough. Like I have a bad mag. Got a bad right mag. Or left mag, sorry. cylinder. Huh. I don't see nothing about it. Engine analyzer at the bottom of it. Shows your magnetos, but I don't know what they look like if they're going bad.
Okay, it's clean now. Alright. Did that. Burned it up. It just wasn't... It had one cool... Cylinder. Alright, something else I need to do. Cycle the prop. Alright, are you good? You there? Yeah, man. Okay. Just making sure I had to change my headset. Batteries. I said to close my windows. You loud? Yeah. Okay, so we're good now. A little bit of trimming. Highly recommend it, by the way. Alright, I'm good to go. Ready? Speed's alive. And we're up. Very nice. Gears up. Making my turn out to the north. Backing down to 22 on the RPMs. Forget to press B on your for barometric pressure. All right, turn on a pilot master on. My nav button's already pressed again. That's kind of cool how all that stays. That will get me in trouble eventually, though. Only my persistence on and mine stayed on. <laughs> oh. Okay. track. Alright, I've got it set to track now. I don't know if that's going to work. Track one or track two? I don't know. I know what they are. I, went, I don't know. I went track. It's like the strength that it detects the VOR signal, the track two. Yeah, I gotcha. If it's close, one works. But I don't know why you wouldn't just always use two. Traffic bomb on the Tulsa signing up runway one four. We'll have a right turnout up to 2000 towards the west. A lot of stuttering. There's a uh, well, that's the other airport there, but it's not. I don't know. It's not really doing what I want it to do. Try it on heading mode. See what happens. I'm gonna keep on climbing. Yep. The 
plane actually took off feeling a lot heavier. Didn't we depart with full fuel last time? I did. Yeah. I see you. Do I need to slow down or anything? Or are you good? Yeah, I went heading mode. Well, we're going to try track mode here. Press that button one more time. Track two. Already at 5,000. This thing climbs really, really well. I'm gonna say 7,500 is what I wanted to be at, so that's where we'll go. Traffic barometer, the whiskey is currently at two miles to the west at 2,500, and now we are heading northwest, uh, northwest bound to Kitchener. Alright, so we need to monitor Chicago. This could be a lot. I'll just have to keep it turned down, I guess. Chicago Center. I don't know if I'm tracking or if it's just flying that straight. <laughs> I don't know, it's easy to trim out for me. That's 6,000 right now. Well, I'm tracking my waypoint. It's uh, correcting right now, maybe. Approaching 7,000. God, why do they got to make Chicago look so bad on this game? I'll start looking around in a minute, but right now I'm just trying to get to 7,500. Give it more time. You hear that coming through your headset? I'm at altitude. Yep. And I guess I'm tracking correctly? I don't know. Kind of confused on that. It's bumpy up here. Hey, you're quite a bit to my left. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the city. What's a G39? Yeah, um... This has got me going all all over the place. I don't like it. So we're going to go back to heading mode here. Is 
Is your nav working for you? I'm on heading right now. My point wasn't how far as yours was. Okay. I'll head back that direction a little bit. Shish. A little windy. I like it. <laughs> Bounce around all over the place. Does it look like we're flying sideways? Because I can't tell. I see it southwest plane just to uh, between. It looks like it's between both of us. You see it? Huh? Uh, no. Yeah, it's. He's like right off the tip of my wing right now. Oh, I see one back behind us. Uh, it might just be a little bit different timing then. Uh, southwest 2101. Is that the one? I see you. I'm, uh, I'm trying to correct my heading, but I can't because of bounce around so much. <laughs> All right, check barometric pressure. It states. Oh man. What? I, what is happening? <laughs> Uh, you know what's funny is I don't think the autopilot can keep up. Like, is it? It's rocking like crazy. <laughs> How's yours doing? Fine. You can try and get on me right now if you want. That way you can try to get a see if we can get a decent picture with the uh, Chicago skyline there. There's clouds moving in a little bit though. out just a little bit more. Yeah, tell me to trim. Wait a minute. Uh, tell me to trim down. reached our checkpoint so I'm gonna start heading heading in now to well yeah jeez It's, uh, I like it on the winds right now. Alright, let's do we figure that out. Yeah, everything's, everything's in the orange for me and maintenance, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, that just goes good. No problems. Ah, there's the mags. Okay. It'll be fun to do a tour with this thing. That was a plane right there below me. It is American Airlines 975. And a uh, United Airlines 757. Or, yeah, 757-200 on its way to... Uh, there is a, I don't know what that is, a 3.30. Yeah, it's kind of busy. There's Master Pilot in a DA-62. My guess is he's on his way to Oshkosh. And there's you. Right above the... 
Man, those clouds are kind of nasty. Are you just going to fly right there? Um, barely, I know. Oh. Well. Alright, well, I am, uh. Check it. Uh oh. Just. Controls. Alright, anyways, let's go to Flight Info. Can you hear the, uh. Can you hear the ATC? I've got it turned down pretty good, but it's, I'm just monitoring, um. Chicago Center. So I'll switch over to yeah, I guess Milwaukee. I don't know. Get closer or something. I keep climbing and I can't stop it. I'm almost at eight thousand. Tracks where the green is if you do heading, but that is not the direction that we are going. Yeah. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I'm chasing this stupid line the whole time. Huh? So the whole gauge needs to rotate. Uh, that's a possibility. That's uh, that's there's actually a button to straighten that. I don't remember what it is. It's kind of like how B changes your barometric pressure. There is a key. Oh, wow. Look at all the people at Chicago. Oh, it's just everybody. Okay. I turn that off. All right. So, uh, we have. Dude, the winds are not that bad right now. Why is it so bumpy? I guess just... I don't know. I guess it just is. Uh, I'm freezing, by the way. <laughs> Have you checked your guy? I'm at, it's 49 degrees. We're going to open that cabin heat a little bit. There, he's going up. It's the least of my worries. I froze when I did my cross country in, over Clark County in real life. Because there was so much air that seeped through the plane. Yeah, the cabin thing didn't help at all. I mean, there is compass deviation. So. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's quite a few planes still heading into Oshkosh. There's a few at Rip right now. Saw T-33, saw T-38 going in the day. Probably why my GPS is messed up too. Think so? Alright, so... The plane is facing sideways, which is the same as what the heading is saying. Like it's saying I'm going straight east right now, and it's locked on the heading. But I'm going northwest. Do what? The heading right now is yeah. at 86. That's what I'm locked on. But I'm heading straight north or northwest. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if there's a see if there's a button for that. Can you do a Google search? Yeah, probably. I can't. I'm gonna get sick. I'm bouncing around so much. Like, this has got to be like a storm buildup or something right now.
right, let's check my guy. See, he's cold still. Ah, oh, no, he's too warm. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be sweating, and we don't want you to do that. Cabin ventilation. I guess that's what we're just gonna open that a little bit. Very much a pressure changed. Pressure B button. Man, I'm gonna get sick, and I'm not even freaking like. If you were in VR right now, you'd probably be all over the place. Is it that bumpy for you too? That's not terrible. Oh man, dude, I'm sh <laughs> I'm all over the place, <laughs> and I like it. Makes it exciting. Any luck nope. on the compass? I thought it was like R or something. Maybe. I don't know what the button is, but I just figured it. Okay, what is it? Uh, you can the heading bug. You can click in. What do you mean? And then like realign it. Well, I know how to realign it, but there should be a button to do it. It's just like the, it's just like altimeter. You could click in and change it too. I thought it was R. I hope I don't mess things up here. I'm gonna press the R button. It's not R. Okay, maybe it's C. Compass. Uh, no. How about? brings up the map. D. Huh? D. Yep, that's it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We got it. Nope, yeah. we got it. I was mainly doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That I should all right. I should be doing that every flight. But it's automatic every other plane we get in, you know? Bad. Like, I've seen it kind of off but bearable. I haven't seen it complete 90 degrees. That would explain why we can't follow the compass. Or the, um... Alright, I got it. So can I probably follow the track now? I don't know. I'm gonna try. I need to go really far left, though. Yeah. I just wonder why you went so far. So D and B. Alright, that's two buttons you want to press before taking off in anything from now on. Oh, okay. Yeah, this ain't working for me. I've got to go to uh, heading. I'm going to go to the track and then try to track it. Yeah, see if you can get that to work because it'll help. Uh, what's really going to suck is keeping this plane at 100 knots. We also have to have gear down. But B25. B-25 was blown off pavement somewhere in New York. Uh, B-52 was. Yes, that's it. I'm dyslexic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about the numbers being reversed. <laughs> yep. Alright, uh, I... Well, Chicago Center is not really saying much now, so... Shut that one off and see if we can find something else here. Whoa. What is Milwaukee? 
what's their center? Or how about... I think I know how to look this up now. It's MKE or MWC. I don't know which one. No, it's MKE. MWC is the one that uh, I think Oak Crow landed at. Nothing good. What is... Let's look up another one. I'm tracking pretty good. I don't know. Is it going to follow the heading now? Oh, no. I'm bouncing around so much, I think it's just being a pain. Slow down. I'm, I'm over land again, too. Huh? So I'm back over land, too. Yeah, me too. I think. No. Right? I don't know. Yes. I didn't see your name way out there. Or I did. I'm just trying to find a monitor, uh, you know, something to monitor. Yes, I guess. Bay. Did we reach that yet? Yeah. We, we passed that. I think. No, I don't think so. Are we? Uh, no. Not Bay. Yeah, the other one. Mark. Uh. Bay is walking. Yeah, it's UNU, right? Uh, it's at that airport or something. Or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't show. That's not 30 minutes. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna 
go to the restroom real quick. Now there's that one place we passed last time, we didn't know what it was. It was like an old airport or something. We're kind of approaching it right now. I've got to correct my heading. You hear that? No. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna rush you real quick and uh, be right back. And I'm in some clouds that I don't know exactly where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I decided to fly right through them like an idiot. To be fair, I didn't. I wasn't here. <laughs> Present. B again and D again. Compass deviation will keep happening. Alright, so I'm going to start my descent to about 3,000. Don't turn off the autopilot disconnect. So altitude hold switch is going off. And we're going to back throttle down a little bit. Oh, where's the uh, icing? That's one of the knobs over to the right. And windshield defrost. You know, I got it on. Just in case. Eh. I do get cold again. Okay, we don't want to be behind the plane here. You know what I mean? As in behind all the things you got to do. So, you're straightened out. You know what? Yeah, well, yeah, we did pass B. You haven't? Oh, maybe not. No. I'm really confused. Nice and pretty when you get out of the clouds. See, I'm moving. <laughs> hey, a racetrack. Alright, so we need to hook up. 
Where are you? Nice. I see you. You're not that far behind me. I still see the DA-62. There's two more flying formation back behind you. I don't know what they are exactly, though. A uh, Phantom and a G-39. What is a G-39? F-4 Phantom? Back and throttle down again. Head on traffic. Milwaukee's pretty busy. They, uh, yeah. The TFR is gone. So apparently, like, the two people that got in trouble, at least, oh, there was a few, I know. But um, ATC vectored them into the TFR. From my understanding. And they said that it wasn't very noticeable. Like, you had to look for the TFR to know it was there or something. They said, like, Navigraph or something didn't show it. So, I don't know. Yeah, but... The note answer Oshkosh already said it. Oh yeah. Yes. I I listened to South Tower and stuff and North Tower. There are some people that are kinda dumb. Like how do you fly a plane if you just can't do I don't know. I, the guy that brought in the, the uh P forty B. Have you seen that one? The picture of it and stuff? Really neat looking. I was listening to him come in, and he, they were like, land at or before the purple dot. And he's like, how far down is the purple dot? And they're like, just let, land at or before the purple dot. It, and then someone else come on the radio and said, you, you can, uh, he said, uh, you're clear to use the whole runway. He goes, that's what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> and then they had to remind him to put his gear down. got all of a sudden really smooth. I'm always chasing this dag online. So I still don't know if nav's gonna work or not. Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> wow, somebody gonna get in a lot of trouble. You can't just use smoke. Pretty sure there are certain times you can. Yeah, this air just got really smooth. How far out behind are you? Out to your right. I've kind of Five leveled thousand. out here. I leveled out at 7,000 for some reason. I back throttle way down.
How are you off to my right? So how are you off to my right? I don't know. Yeah, I'm on track for Bay. I don't know if Bay's even showing up for me. I'm saying 22. Huh? Kind of. I'm saying 22 minutes. I'm so confused. Yeah, uh, three minutes to bait. Yeah, I don't know. Mine must have not have set on my GPS here. Hold on. You know what? I bet you I know what it is. Not on my GPS. Hmm. Odd. I was wondering why you were so far out there. Well, I did that on purpose. That's the user one I set up. I didn't want to go right over Chicago. Well, I didn't either. But now I'm on track for Bay, and you're still really far left. So I, I, think you're bypassing it. I don't know. Maybe I didn't press VOR when I had to go back and reset it. That must have been what happened. But it's saying bay on my, I don't know. It's literally saying bay to user on my GPS, so I'm confused. I don't know. We'll get together here once we reach altitude. I'm saying OBK the bay. Yours is like a step ahead. Yeah, right. Technically, if our endpoint's the same, once you reach bay, it ought to straighten. You ought to head towards me. Are you going to the lake? Okay, that's right. Just remember, we don't actually go to the center of the lake. We just get to it and take a right. Check your compass deviation. What's Rock? Does Rockford have a controlled airfield? No idea. I'll find out real quick. Where is Rockford relative to Oshkosh? Ticket until I get about, eh, I don't know, 10 minutes out. And then we'll switch over to Fisk arrival. That sound like a plan? Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. Quite a few people head into Oshkosh. What time they close the airport down? radar. Oh yeah, there's a big line right now. Go look at it now. <laughs> this could be fun. We're just gonna hijack the name of a low wing, okay? So if they tell you a low wing, rock your wings, we're doing it. <laughs> That's what I did last time. Flight it to or not? Probably I would recommend, I'll be honest, 
I would highly recommend going to on their. Uh, do you have another screen? You do have two screens. Uh oh, I'm I'm below where I want to be. Uh, you know what? Three thousand is where I'm gonna chill out here. So we're just gonna. Hold is on. Uh, I see you just off to my left. Got a Chase my stupid compass again. I think with it being bumpy like that, it causes it to deviate a lot easier. I'm at 3500. Where you at? Oh, I see you at my right wing. A lot of good ways to go. I never turned my landing lights on when I departed, did you? Close enough. Are you finally heading into my track? I think you're kind of like slowly coming over to where mine is. Yeah. I'm not directly on it. I'm just kind of parallel. Same heading. again. Nice weather though. You can see a few clouds building up, building up just to the north. 
I don't know if that's something that'll be a concern for us. I think I see Lake Winnebago out there, do you? I'm not so sure. I don't think so. Still don't see anybody. Daughter's calling me. Well, she goes to the edge of the basement and says, Barrett! <laughs> oh, there's a Mustang. He is uh, at Warbirds right now, gearing to turn into 3 6. Whoa, there's a massive flight of something. You see those? Just south of Winnebago? Yeah, a little bit. They're uh, east of Fond du Lac. Piper Cubs, bunch of, I guess, stole planes. A mule. <laughs> Very cool. Yep, bunch of cubs and stuff. That's cool. Jeez, 59 knots. Javelin. You see the Mustang out there? I should probably start watching my plane here. I guess we can kind of monitor and see what's happening. Um, at uh, Oshkosh here, I'm still a little ways out. I don't really want to go to Fisk Arrival just yet. Got bumpy again. Let's see what happens with the wind. Ah, my gas warm. Uh, 12 knots. Headwind. That would explain a lot. Oh, very much pressure changed. That's what mine keeps doing. Constantly. Oh, I'm pretty sure my plane just hit a bump. I'm not gonna lie, this plane's a lot of fun. Actually, it seems real. Er. You know, I did the right thing. I was listening to Chicago Center. And it's actually on here. But you're supposed to be doing that. And Milwaukee Approach. I was also on that. Milwaukee Approach IFR arrivals. Hmm. Lone Rock Low. That's what I was supposed to be listening to was those change radios there. So just loaded in. I would, did you, uh, what just loaded in? I don't know. Probably, uh, Fond du Lac. Alright, so put in, oh yeah, 
So put in, uh, go to ATC, put lab ATC in onto your other screen. Just go to labatc.com, type in Kosh in the search, and then you're going to want to listen in browser HTMLS or ML5. Um, I highly recommend doing that. That way you can follow somebody. Right now I'm on Chicago Approach or Chicago Center, but I might switch now. I think I'm close enough to not worry about that. I'm low enough as well. I'm going to go to... I don't want to go to Fisk just yet. Frequency are you listening to? Uh, right now I'm all the way on. Uh, I'm at the bottom of that list. I'm all the way on uh, Chicago Center, Lone Rock. But they're not just now saying something. 3007 on the Milwaukee Center, and it did not change. Alright, so we're getting kind of. I'm gonna go South Tower. Well, I really don't want to go South Tower yet. I'm just gonna monitor Chicago. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. I'm staying at Chicago um, Center. It's the Aetis. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I got it correct. I'm way off course here. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal right now. We gotta get together here. We're gonna try to do flight of two in, unless you wanna do your own. Also, where are we gonna be parking? Uh, do we wanna do vintage? Is that what we decided? I don't think we did. I don't know. I'm really afraid that we're gonna get up here and it's gonna just, it's gonna get real, um, you know, uh, stuttery. I'm afraid of right now. <laughs> Thing is just all over the place. Yeah, I'm gonna probably do the same because there's not a whole lot going on. Uh oh, something just loaded in. Ah uh, no. Okay. something. So I'm not slowed it in. Low-linked up tower, relay 36 left, there's land in the yellow. 
Well, the dots might not be the same, by the way. I gotta pee, and this bouncing around is making me have to pee more. I keep drinking water. Jeez, oh god. Okay, so something weird just happened. That was a huge gust of wind or something. Same three minutes. Alright, I think it's time to go to Fisk. That's fine. It's all, they're all the same. Same frequency, anyways. Uh, that's ground, Fisk approach one. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get low and slow now. Whoops. All right, so I'm turning the autopilot off, by the way. All the pilot master is off for the time being. I got two bananas up higher. You a flight? Affirmative. All right, turn right, join the Yukos Road, and it'll be a left base for runway 36. Hey. No, we got too many. There's a north one in front of you. I've got to go to 36. Say what I mean? Okay. Sorry about that. No problem. Slow down there, and don't forget your gear. We're doing that right now. We don't want to forget that. All right, thank you. Don't lose that. All right, I got one high up here. Alright. We've got to get low here. We're it's way too high. I'm going to go ahead and go like full mixture here. We need to be at 1500. Alright. I'm going to start my right turn here. I should have paid attention to that. I wasn't. I was too worried about it. Radio stuff. Start my right turn now. You can fly in off me if you want. Because that flight of two bonanzas would have been a good one to be, you know? I'm trying to get down. And we need to be really slow, but this stupid thing wants to yell at me the whole time because my gear is not down. Putting a notch of flaps in. Slow it down. Try to, anyways, but I'm not supposed to. Slip it. Always. Huh? Runway 36 and 27 are active runways today. Yeah. Always? Yeah, pretty much. I didn't hear that one. Thousand. Yeah, you're a little bit ahead of me. I can reload it though. I'm also running through a browser, it could be different. Why? Alright, so gear needs to come down and right. I, I'd recommend I one notch of flaps
Are these guys straight from Tennessee or something? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lagging like crazy. Because everything's loading in. We need to be at 100 knots. Alright, my 310's rock your wings. Great rock. Do you have, uh, how about you head up the track? Up the track to 27, expect that right down one over the gravel pit. And uh, once you're in that, uh, once you pass this, you monitor tower 18.5. Good. Don't do that. Travel air about a mile from this. Which runway did you want? What? Aliens. What? Approaching you know, this. What's the type aircraft? Up high. Up high. Travel air over fifth. I need you to turn right and join the east-west road. What? That's freaky. Air <laughs> tower one two six point six. Travel area can make that. I gotta slow down still. I can do that now. This is Rippin that we're at right now. Where are you, by the way? Oh, you're right by me. And we are right over the railroad tracks now. Oh, I was barren. Dang it, I thought I was a... I've got my altitude hold on at 1500. Right, you're gonna make that right turn or, uh, low wing well, I did. I did it right, right now. Hold on a minute here. I forgot if you turn your. Uh, right. Right turn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep turning. Keep turning. You're enjoying that east west road. Expect a uh, left base for runway 36. Okay. Well, apparently, this is 6. not working. Altitude hold switch isn't working. Is my master off? German, Southwest yes. Which runway would you like? German, you can uh, turn right going to East West Road. I swear. Struggling here, sorry. Robinson Hel Helicopter, South of Fisk, uh, stay your attention. Not holding. I'm. I'm not. Yeah, it's whatever. All right, Robinson. You can join the East West Road and take that over to the shoreline. And I did not. Uh, the biplane over fifth did not get your frequency for the tower. Okay, biplane is twenty six six monitor tower. Twenty six six. Robinson, stay with me. You can uh, join that East West Road and a zero nine zero heading. And Robinson, you're going to join the shoreline. All right, we're approaching Fisk here, I think. Robinson, call the tower on 126.6. Okay, 
There we go. I'm working on it, okay? Chill out. Not near as many people out here now. A couple of swifts out there. Which uh, runway would you like? Three six, if possible. Both swifts, okay. You can make that right turn zero nine zero. Join the east west road. Three six will be your runway assignment. You can begin your descent. Uh, to 1, and start down. There's a helicopter up ahead of you. They're gonna be joining the shoreline. Are you on me? Oh shoot, uh, another important thing right now. Um, turn lights on. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put my car heat too. I have failed this. Approach already. Where are you? Uh, oh, you're just off to my left. Okay. Gotcha. Am I flaps down a notch to you? Yes. I'm staying right at 100. Yeah, I'm pretty close to it. Altitude's at 15. Holding. Uh, just above it, yep. So that's fine. There's not near as many out there as there was. We're gonna ride the next call out. I'd probably go to tower. Become familiar with this. The procedure begins out at Green Lake. You can find it on pages 11 and 13 of the notice. No side by side, no over under, no overtake. They like y'all half mile on trail, floor performing. Alright, I'm rocking. Be at 1890 knots. The higher performing aircraft should be at 2300 and 135 knots. Alright, we're gonna go up to Fisk Avenue, okay? As soon as we get over the highway, we start uh, to descending, I believe. So. behind me. Okay, so... South Tower, I guess, is what we're going to be. Is where the gators are? Is that where you're parking? <sighs> of course. And then a helicopter just underneath you. See the guy walk uh, below you. Cameron Wood. Aircraft runway left in the grass, follow climate park, you're welcome to show. 
Turn it around, please, sir. Huh? Think about coming in. She comes. Your plane is so pretty. Yeah. I'll go down one dot from you. Looks like red. Begin your descent, runway 36 left, yellow dog, clear to land. 36 left, yellow dog, clear to land. Pink dot, I guess. Where are you inbound from today? Sit down. Set 36 right, we tax all the way to the end, correct? Piling over the highway, sir, your descent, runway 36 left, yellow dot, clear to land. Jet over here smoking. Probably that RV that had to close that shut the place down. RV on the runway next available left turn and follow the flyman parking wall from the ship. supposed to go. ground by the way. I'm not saying anything though. I think we go over here. Don't know where the technical 
taxiway is right now. Let's, let's go do it. I don't know why the F-18's always got that smoking glitch. It's really annoying. the end of the runway. Did you land 3-6 left? No. Huh? I went right. Oh. You just turned left. Found taxiway. I went all, all the way to the end. I think 3-6 right. You're supposed to go all the way at the end of the runway. I don't even know where you went. Vintage. Oh. Uh... Where do you see me? Uh, on the map, you're square. I'm a square. You're at the square. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, I see. This looks like a taxiway up here, so we're gonna take it. <sighs> Shut everything off. Open the door. Put the yoke up. Alright. Did you set your parking brake? Da, 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 
da. Tie everything down. Yep. Could have been watered my well, no. Whoops. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I just wish there was more that came in, but you know, doesn't matter. I did the whole trip on my wingtips. Did you really? Yeah. Well, it's a little dangerous. Well, I started on them, I just never switched it. Yep. Alright, man. Well, I'm going to stop this one.